it's Thursday morning, 4 a.m. Just <laughs> just off to the gym. What are we doing today? It's 7 a.m. Not one gym. Nah, yeah. Um, we're just off to the gym to do a to do a partner workout. What are we doing? Gonna smoke a mountain upper body session. Dealt domination with the bird. <laughs> just getting a taxi on the way to the gym. Fasted workout, which means we'll get a good pump. What 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 um movements we're gonna do? Seated machine, shoulder press, lat pull down, chest so, support row. Okay. Well, Joe was just decided to walk over, so I've got no wiggle. Dumbbell lat will raise, I think. No. Well, cable, cable whatever. And That's then, a fucking shit angle, Jesus. Do you show people my outfit of the day because girls love to see this. If there's any there's, there's not any girls watching my channel. Well, there might be. This little sports bra is from Shein. Shein have the best clothes. Move down. Move down. This <laughs> is a skirt, and it's from Oisho. Sorry, what? Whatever that Spanish shop is, but it's so cute. Can you please ca um, angle the camera? Don't mind the mess in the background too. We're packing. We're packing. And then my runners. Runners. Are on clouds. Yeah. That Joe want me. Runner, runners in Irish means trainers, whereas runners in England would mean running trainers. That's something that I've learned. Although they are running trainers, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to get in a taxi and get some free workout and get it done. I'm going to do some mobility to warm up because Misha needs that. So I'll show you that. Does anyone else think that this is so unfair? Okay, so me and Joe have matching runners. Trainers. Runners. And he won't wear them. Why would he buy his matching runners if he's not going to wear the matching runners with me? So, I don't want to show you his rotten feet, but... <laughs> we we both have these. Yeah. Mine are on my feet. And he's saying, I'm really bad at this, Jesus, I need to learn how to be a YouTuber. You need to flip the cameras, yeah. And he's saying he won't wear them because we'll look like weirdos, basically. So, he's going to have... A, He's gonna be single by the end of this trip if he doesn't start matching with me. But everyone just comment and tell him that he's being rude. He's putting on his ugly, rotten, dirty hockers now instead. They're not dirty. They're quite dirty. No, they're not. It's quite dirty. <sighs> Your YouTube channel as well. This could be our escape from the world. Joe was shit at showing you my outfit, so I'll show you again. This is. Oh, OCD. Cute, and then that's Joe's outfit of the day. Off the train, legs. No, we're not training legs, we're training, we're not training. them. We're not oh, I'm tired, don't mind me. This is my okay, OOTD. Blue and white. We only wear this when we're really, really tanned. But yeah. What we'll do is we'll get a working set. Hackley's outside. We'll get a working set of each of the, the main compound lifts. And I might do a little bit of a voiceover explaining why we're doing certain things to keep it educational. Dora the Explorer. She fits her whole entire life into this little backpack. Don't you? Everything. I have all my secrets. Right. Did you say your legs are sore? Yeah, so Misha comes from a bodybuilding background, but obviously she's dating one of the one of the most well-known hybrid athletes on YouTube. So We've recently got her into into running, which she briefly mentioned in the last video. Training for a half marathon at the end of September. Yeah. What's the longest run you've done so far? You've got your doing. A, she's doing 11k this week, which will be a big, big run for her. And then you've done two runs this week already, haven't you? Yes, I've done 11k in total. Yeah. And I've got 11k on Sunday, so I've done 22k this week. And how are you finding adapting to? Lifting and running. Mm, Getting it's there? actually okay. Yeah? Yeah. So I'm just training less. I'm doing four sessions instead of five. Yeah. Two 
too lower, too upper. Yeah. But I've got sore legs right now, but it's my own fault because I don't stretch. So. Mm -hmm. We're going to be working on that, but I think four lifts and two, three runs is the sweet spot if you're wanting to still progress with your physique but get fitter with running as well. I think if you do more than that, then you might need to sacrifice some recovery from the lifting, but as you get fitter, you get more conditioned, you'll find that your recovery between the runs gets better and it, it won't actually impact your strength training. I found that when I started, I really, really struggled with the leg training, but that's because I was running way too quickly, whereas now most of the runs are done slowly in an aerobic heart rate zone, so much easier to recover from and then go again. All right, guys, so took about, I would say about eight minutes of clips from this workout. I'm just gonna run you over why we're doing certain things, um, run you over some technique as well, and hopefully provide a little bit of value. Didn't put too much planning into this video, just wanted to actually get some raw clips. It's a mixture of landscape and portrait content, um, just because obviously I do put a lot of content on Instagram as well. But first movement that we did together after the warm-up, I didn't bother filming the warm-up, um, it's pretty standard stuff, and I'd rather do an actual in-depth video on my warm-up routine in the future. But back-supported seated shoulder press, um, whatever you want to call it. Historically in the past, I have done a lot of barbell overhead press, um, but at the moment I am really, really enjoying the dumbbell press. I think in the next clip, I, I hit actually an all-time PB on the dumbbell press. I think it was 30 kg for nine reps. Um, at a much lighter body weight than I have been over the last, I would say six years as well, which was um, which I was pleased about. So the reason that I'm enjoying the back support shoulder press at the moment is because, as you can see, the angle of the bench is slightly further back. Um, I just find that I'm a little bit stronger rather than having it fully upright. Maybe that's due to a lack of mobility, but I would say my kind of overhead range is pretty good. So this was the top set here. Um, I'd done a few warm-up sets here, so it was 30 kg for nine reps for my top set, and I think I'd warmed up with 12 kg dumbbells for 10, uh, and then a set of tw with the 20 kg for about six reps, and that's all I'll do really. Um, I'll just feel it out if I'm feeling a little bit stiff one day then I'll do an extra warm-up set. But you don't want to be expending energy when you're doing warm-up sets. So you should be not going anywhere near failure, like six or seven reps away from failure. But as I say, I was, I was really pleased with that, 30 kg for nine, um, at 78 kg body weight at the moment as well, which is about five or six kg lighter than I was um, about two years ago. Just leaned down a lot from doing the running um, and just having more control over my diet, to be honest. This was the back offset, 25 kg. I think I hit 10 reps here. Um, you can count if you want and correct me, but if you've really, really pushed it to close to failure on your top set, you should not be able to replicate that again on the next set. So naturally the back offset will usually be a little bit lighter um, for a similar rep range, or you could use the same weight and do slightly less reps. But we were working in the eight to 10 rep range for three sets there. Next compound movement that we moved on to was just a standard wide grip lat pull down. Um, I would say the muscle group that I've progressed on the most over the last year, like obviously I've been lifting for 12 years consistently in the gym. I'm natural, I don't take any PEDs. So it goes about saying pro progress is quite hard to come by these days, considering that I don't push my body weight up and do gaining phases. But the muscle group that I have brought up the most, and I would say I've put a lot of effort into is my back. So vertical pulling, a mixture of um, kind of neutral grip and wide grip pull downs and also doing a combination of pull ups as well to be honest over the last I would say five years I've done a lot more pull ups than pull downs but I'm finding that I just get a much better mind muscle connection with pull, pull downs at the moment and I, I really like going quite heavy on them you'll see in the next clip um, I think I was almost using the full stack which is not bad um, considering my body weight I am still a big fan of pull ups and I do do them once a week but I think for my main vertical pulling compound at the moment, I am definitely preferring the, the wide grip lat pull down. Obviously, Misha's doing a set here. She has a background of, I mean, not, not bodybuilding in, in the sense of competing, but she's always kind of trained bodybuilding style and she's recently got into running as well, which has been good. Um, she was at the back end of a dieting phase here, um, so strength was a little bit less, but nonetheless, she was doing well. But um, got to get the top off to show the shreds. Whenever I film myself on the camera or I have someone else film me, you you realize how lean you are. Like when you look at yourself day to day and, and you catch yourself in, you know, suboptimal lighting, you don't think you're lean. But I'm I'm very happy with how 
lean I was in this video. This this video is about two weeks ago now. Um, just found the footage, but I'm holding this sort of composition. And that's I would say that's my composition at about 78 to 78.5 kg. If I had to put a number on it, I'd probably say I'm about 11% body fat, um, and I would say I hover between probably 10% and 12.5% year round. Next one, well, the next movement that we did was. I guess this is a chest supported row. We were doing the single arm version. Um, really, really good machine this. We were training in this gym for almost a month, I think, and I was doing this twice a week. I really, really enjoyed it. Just with it being you know, chest supported, it takes all the stabilization out of it, so out of the movement, so it doesn't require your core, um, which you know some would say it's less functional than, for example, a barbell row. But if your goal is hypertrophy and you're trying to build the muscle as much as possible and get as good a connection as possible, which I would say my goals are that at the moment, then you could argue that a chest supported version, a machine is better. Uh, and we just finished off with, I think two sets of 15 to 20 on the rear delt. Um, I don't even know what you would call this, rear delt fly, rear delt pec fly or something like that. Um, but yeah, that was good. I, I don't really do too much on my rear delts, like just some face pulls to warm up and then some um, some sets on the pet deck like that and then as always finish off with some lateral raises I will hit my lateral raises twice a week um, for two to two to four sets depending on how I'm feeling I don't take them too seriously to be honest I don't try and progressively overload they're always the last movement that I do in an upper body training session twice a week and I'll literally just try and go nice and close to failure and um, some days I'll go in and I'll use like 8 kg and do like 30 reps some days I'll use 15 kg and do 10 to 12 reps it really just depends um, you can see in the next clip here, but I think obviously if you really want to bring up your shoulders, having a good combination of heavy vertical pressing, like we were doing at the start of the session with the back support shoulder press as your main compound um, on, on a you know, lower rep range between 6 to 10, and then doing, I would say I respond better to higher reps on, on lateral raise. I think that will give you a nice well-rounded look with the delt as long as you are doing some rear delts as well, but bear in mind obviously you will activate and recruit and use your rear delts when you're doing your heavy pulling movements like you know your horizontal chest supported rows um, and then when you're doing your pull downs as well so if you're going to be obviously stepping on stage you shouldn't be watching my channel anyway but you know if you're really trying to bring up the weak spots then obviously you'll need to allocate more volume to lagging muscle groups but for someone like myself that's just wanting to maintain muscular size and um, obviously always trying to improve strength as well then i think hitting you know three to six sets of vertical press a week and three to six sets of lateral raises and doing some rear delt stuff. I think that's going to be more than enough to um, maintain muscle mass there and, and even improve it. But yeah, I think we did three sets here. As I say, I usually hit probably four to six sets a week. And the, I think it's just one more clip here, but this is a great gym. Um, if anyone's wondering, it's Elements Marbella. I would highly recommend it. It's quite difficult to get to if you don't have a car. So for our next month of Marbella, I've moved to a different gym. Paddles, definitely not as good, um, but I can walk to it, which is which is the main thing for me. But stay tuned. I will do a little bit more of an organized um, lower body workout for one of the next videos over the next couple of weeks.